So the beginning of this year was really where I first started actually doing photography more seriously or taking my photography more seriously. I'd taken pictures before uh, on opportunities where I'd gone out and had the camera along with me, but after really getting into some of the vloggers around, I actually made a conscious decision to start getting up early in the mornings and uh, just getting on with it and taking some actual shots. Um, some of the first ones I took this year are actually really quite nice, they're sort of some misty, misty feeling shots. And uh, they were taken after dropping one of my daughters off to school actually. Um, and they just happened along this really nice little area close to where I live when the mist was just looking great, so I took a few shots. Um, and then I moved on uh, and actually started physically making an effort to get up early to take some shots. Um, and all of these that I've done here, they're all handheld. Um, I didn't really, I should, I should have, but I wasn't really in the practice at that point of using the tripod. And these were taken on my 70D with the kit lens, uh, 18 to 35 kit lens in most instances. So, I mean, I'm quite happy with how they've come out, but this was the level I was at and, and where I was at at the start of this year, really. And then um, another picture here, which is one of my favorites of the year, actually, this was just, I'd popped out to, um, popped head down to Ware uh, in Hertfordshire because my wife um, was having some dental work done there and I just took a wander down by the river and I saw this building uh, and the light and just thought I've got to take this shot, uh, and, which I did. Um, but if you look really closely at this, and I'll try and find the original shot to show you as a comparison, there were just loads of uh, train line, uh, train uh, overhead lines uh, that were just going dissecting the building down straight across the top of the shot and if I actually zoom in to where I've done some work you can see it's not great and there's a lot, quite a lot of repetition but the point is is that I just love the overall feel of the shot so that's actually one of my favorite ones of the year even though I'll never show it anywhere well, other than here um, just because I really like it and just because I really like the, the atmosphere of it. This was another early morning shot. Uh, went over to um, some lakes near where I live um, and just sat and literally, first time I think I had actually used the tripod uh, for some work um, and seriously decided to sort of make more of an effort with my photography. And this shot here is the one that I sat and waited for for hours. I, I, I got it all composed and just waited for the mist to roll in and out, waited for the sun to come up, and uh, took that shot. And then, which is okay, it's not the best of shots, it's okay. But literally, I then started to pack up and, and decided to leave. And as I was leaving, I noticed that the sun and the mist was looking absolutely fantastic. So I handheld a few shots, which are these ones here that you're seeing now. Um, and they actually, to me, turned out far more like a lot better than the uh, original compose shot which I'd taken all the time to set up and wait for, which sometimes happens. So by now I decided to start venturing further afield and uh, head to places like North Wales. Here this shot was taken early morning after an overnight drive. Um, it's a beautiful place Wales, absolutely love it and I've got some of my favourite shots of the year here. I started to think about vlogging at this point, I did actually have a vlogging camera, I uh, bought a GoPro. But I just hadn't got around to uh, actually being brave enough to do it. I think I started to do a vlog at one point, but couldn't focus on taking uh, the shots at the same time. So just, uh, I just love Wales though. Um, beautiful place. So windy, incredibly windy. Little on the windy side. <laughs> that was one of my uh, attempts at vlogging, uh, which didn't last very long. Uh, but just, just some great shots there. I really love Wales and I'm going back there later on this year. So. Um, just love the place, absolutely love it. And then I moved on from this uh, and I actually started seriously thinking about vlogging. So the first vlog I ever really did was uh, over at Deacon Hill near where I live. The pictures are not, uh, the, the quality wasn't that great and the sound was awful. That's the tree behind me, not the big one to the left, but the one through the gap. Uh, I'll turn you around this way. Uh, I warn you, there's going to be some wind noise, but uh, I mean, this this stuff never got published and uh, and <laughs> never will, apart from this little bit here. But the pictures I got were lovely. We got a beautiful sunrise that morning. Uh, I, I really just 
couldn't have asked for better. Um, and it's just a, such a shame, really, that probably the actual the, the camera work and the production on the vlog was so poor and the sound was so poor that I couldn't actually get these pictures out. But that was a great morning and it really inspired me to start blog, uh, vlogging properly. So after my dalliance with uh, vlogging over at uh, Deacon Hill, I decided to take it a bit further and I thought I'd go and do some uh, at a church called Clock Hill Church. The trouble was I couldn't find it. I'm trying to remember how to get there now. No, it's up here somewhere. This is definitely not it. Another good reason to plan your route. <laughs> this could be it, this could be it. This looks uh, semi Well, that was it. Was that it? I think that was it. No, no, no. This is it. That wasn't it. This is. This is it. This is definitely not the right way. So I'm now literally just driving out of where I want to be, like considerably. So there's nowhere to turn. This all seems strangely familiar. I'm back on the road again that I was on before when I've gone too far and turned around to come back. This is good, this is fun. Shall we talk about Clock Hill Church again? What was I saying? Something of the occult about it. Yeah, you can't find it, that's what the occult is. It disappears when you go and look for it. I'm giving up, I think. I'm giving up, going out. I actually did give up at that point ended up going uh, to Sainsbury's shopping, uh, which was part of the uh, reason to go out in the first place. But actually, as it happened, I had a bit of a reprieve right at the very end of the evening because the uh, sunset came out and I knew a local place where I could get a decent shot. Okay, so uh, last minute reprieve. We may be back on here. After all. It's supposed to be beautiful now. Uh, wait and see if I get the pictures out because I've done my classic rushing. It's actually turned out to be one of my favourite shots of the year. Um, unfortunately, the actual location isn't amazing because you haven't got a lot of foreground interest, but the sky was so interesting that night. And I was, uh, yeah, I was really lucky to get that. So in June I was lucky enough to go on holiday to Lanzarote for a couple of weeks with the family and uh, while I was there I took full advantage of the photo opportunities that are around there, uh, such as this one which is the Temple Hall which is a, a boat that ran aground in 1967. It's a very strange um, rugged landscape, it's, it's really fascinating actually but it's not your typical beautiful lakes and rivers and streams and, and trees, it's just very rugged and very, um, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is, but it's, it's just a really beautiful place to go and take photos. This lighthouse was actually literally about um, 300 yards away from the villa we were staying in. Just just some of the some of the atmosphere while we were there, it's just completely different from the UK and, and some of the scenery that you could get was just uh, really amazing, I really love that photo. That's one of my favorites of the year with the sun rays bursting through the clouds. So I had a great time while I was there. I took a lot of pictures. I got up early a lot of mornings and, and kind of when I got back, it really spurred me on into making a concerted effort to go and take vlogs. And pretty much after we came back from here, this is when I started taking vlogs and you'll see some of the results from those in the second part of this video. So thanks very much for watching, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it 
and I'll see you again soon.